public art is not normally something that you interact with. It's like, it's got to be big and beautiful and often um, really brightly colored so that people can catch it as they're moving past it quickly, but these aren't that. The public collection is a public art and literacy project that consists of artist-designed bookshare stations. Rachel Simon dreamt this up um, thinking about how to get more books in the hands of Indianapolis residents, uh, particularly those who may not have access to books or who may feel that it's an obstacle to make it to the library or a bookstore. She's really carried on um, Herb Simon's passion for reading and he's been a good friend of the libraries over the years and so this is really kind of coming full circle in many ways which is kind of exciting. Many homes don't have books. Illiteracy is a problem and books aren't as easily available as people may think. There are no obstacles to these books. It's come get a book, take one, leave one, read it, share it. Anything that we can do at the public library that makes it easier for people to have access to reading materials, that's a good thing. What I really love about the public collection is that there are no barriers. It doesn't matter where you come from, what you are, what you have. You walk up to that and grab a book. That's pretty radical, actually. The goal is to make it easier for people to keep reading. I think the project hits a bullseye as far as engaging the public and the artists um, in this kind of unexpected collision. By putting them together and making them freely accessible, that's doing something for the community. And there's something really lovely about people busy in their day coming across like an opportunity to find a really great book. And at the end of the day, that's the kind of thing we hope will happen.